Here is another a biopsy of a breast tumor, which appears to be predominantly fibrous with a little bit of fat, some blood vessels, some hemorrhage. You can see some lobules out here. And like in our previous case of lobular carcinoma in situ, you can notice that there is perhaps a, a lobule out here which maintains sort of a no, normal overall configuration, but is once again showing that its asini are just packed with epithelial cells, which are so uh, typical and classical for lobular carcinoma in situ. If you compare that to uh, some of the other labules, like perhaps here, Oh, let's find a better one. Do we have a better one out here? Yes, you can see that these asini are not packed with cells. They might be a little uh, fibrotic, but this is a relatively normal lobule compared to the previous one we saw, which is lobular carcinoma in situ. Now, just like we uh, now feel really proud that we identified lobular carcinoma in situ, we probably lost uh, track of the fact that there is something terribly going on here. Here you see a normal lobular. Here you see a normal lobule. Here you see lobular carcinoma in situ. But let's look at the whole big picture. You are also looking at a large tumor as well. And whereas originally, we kind of originally glossed this off and says, oh, it's probably some type of fibrotic reaction. Well, guess what? Yes, it is fibrotic reaction, but the reason why it's fibrotic is because it is diffusely infiltrated with these tumor cells. And because these tumor cells infiltrate here and here and here and here and here in kind of a linear single file pattern, which is called Indian file, this is the classic infiltrating pattern of lobular carcinoma in situ. One of the uh, ironic things about lobular carcinoma in situ is that it is much, 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 much more benign than ductal carcinoma in situ. But when lobular carcinoma in situ infiltrates in its classical Indian file pattern like you see here, it is worse in prognosis than infiltrating ductal carcinoma. And uh, I think uh, from a cytologic point of view, we could see a lot of features in these infiltrating cells very intimately dispersed between bands of fibrous tissue. But if you look carefully, they have vacuoles, they have irregular chromatin. And even though they are not bizarre, with a lot of bizarre mitoses, the, these are malignant cells. Let me find one more random uh, feature of infiltrating lobular carcinoma. This is kind of an Indian file, except it looks like it's two layers rather than one. This might be closer to one layer over here. Let's take a, a, another random high power view over here and see if I could show you some more classic Indian files. There's Indian file one in a row. There's Indian file one in a row. This is a beautiful Indian file. If you've ever watched, uh, you know, some of these late westerns like, uh, oh, Last of the Mohicans, you'll notice that when the Indian went on their Indians went on their scouting parties along the riverbanks, they usually went one by one, and that's why this is called Indian file. Thank you very much.